tell you about the time I almost died. I never thought it would happen to me. Not at this age. Beaten. Outsmarted. How did I get into this fix? How did it all begin? No, no, no. If I go back to the beginning, that'll take forever. So let's start more recently. Somewhere. Anywhere. Reese. The governor didn't approve of this. The more they don't approve, the more they want to watch. So what is this? Six notches on your belt? Eight. Congratulations. Fuck you. You're asking me more nicely, huh? John Hobbs! One in the dance hall. Sealed my brutish fate. That's right. So what is this? They're making you famous now, or what? Oh, big time. They're gonna put me in the movies. Documentary. Oh, oh courtesy of the ACLU, they shoot me getting smoked. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'd be a big video rental. All these society ladies showing it to their dinner guests, you know? Ooh, you see that there? Ooh, that's a urine stain, ladies. <laughs> oh my, it's not urine. <laughs> Good to see you, huh? Yeah, it's good to be seen by you, Reese. You're, uh, you're my best pal. Ah, you're still a good fellow. You know, you remind me of somebody else. Oh, indeed you do. Indeed you do. Do you like riddles? No, I don't. Here's a beaut. Why is there a space between lions and Spikowski? What? Come on, you should know this one, pal. You should know this one. Open your eyes. Look around sometime. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Open the gate. Remember this, Hobbs? A day, a week, a month. The uncle says the storm What are you, Nazi now? It's Dutch. What goes around really goes around. You have a safe trip, yeah? I'll be looking for you. Yes, it is. Time is on my side. 
Yes, it is. Now you always say that you want to be free. Well, I'll come running back. I'll come running back to you. Something is always happening. But when it happens, people don't always see it, or understand it, or accept it. don't accept consequences, huh? They kill somebody, somehow it's not their fault. Well, this is the consequence hey, of what hey, I Hey, hey, look do. who made it. Mr. Consequence. How'd it go? He died. Told you. Grace, you got one more. Hey, detective, nice to see you. How are you doing, Grace? Mm. Don't tempt me with that, John. Oh, man, sorry. So what's your poison, house? We're working on some Becks. We got some Guinness. We got some bass. Budweiser is good for me. Budweiser? Yeah. Good. I know. No, we'll go and import it here. Yeah, please. You know, you can't yeah, afford it. I Maybe can I'll afford buy. it, Lou. Hey, Budweiser. OK. Well, at least have a Bud Ice or a Bud Dry Lou. or something. Lou, it is just a Bud, OK? You guys want anything? No. Here's your pipe, Gracie. He was one of the most notorious inmates in this place. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You're an unusual cop, Hobbs. Really? You know, I, I've been in this precinct about, what, uh, five, six months? And everybody says, Hobbs don't take no green. Hobbs don't take no green. Now, is that true or what? No, I don't like green, yeah. That means no? Yeah, it means no. Now, is that no as in never, no as in sometimes, or no as in I do, but uh, I don't like to talk about it? No, as in never. This is a, a, a big city, Hobbsy. We, we got a tradition up there. You got something wrong with your ears. A man says something, he says it. So hypothetical. You know, a, a cop who's trying to make ends meet, you know, wants a little something on the side. I don't like cream, and I don't judge. You don't judge. It's a fucking saint, huh? So you're telling me that under no circumstances would, would a holy man like you ever, you know, break the law, do something. Look, Lou. I can jump across the table, right? Snatch your heart right out of your chest. My bare hand. Squeeze the blood I've been sticking in your front pocket. I could do that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If I lost control. But if I did, I would be no different than the people we bust. Now, as to your general question, you take any cop out on the force, cream or no, 99% of the time, they're doing their job, aren't they? 99.5. 0.5. So he or she, cream or no, is doing more good out there on the street every day than any uh, lawyer or stockbroker or uh, president of the United States can ever do in their lifetime. <sighs> Cops are the chosen people. Amen. You 
<laughs> so I'm switching the bud. <laughs> hey, Gracie, come here and get this foreign shit off of my table and bring me three buds. <laughs> Damn it, Charles, what took you so long? There's a girl up on 13. You know what you look like with this sandwich up your ass? Pardon me? Like a fat, stupid fuck with a sandwich up his ass. Charles, I hate to yeah, do yeah, this, yeah, but. Yeah. Put the job where the sandwich goes. Here we go. Juice, pretzels, apple, peanut yeah. butter and jelly sandwich. Uncle John, uh -huh. will you please make my lunch tomorrow? Why is that? Yes, Toby. Hey, Mr. Hobbs. Hi, Toby. I can't keep having the same thing every day. What do you want? Uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No. <laughs> hey. What, jelly and peanut butter? No. Right. I love it, Dad. Wait, wait. Don't forget your Uncle Johnny. Oh, I can feel Bye, the love in his room, man. <laughs> Bye. Be good here. Have a good day at school. Okay. Bye. Doing a good job, Art. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, why don't you sit down with me this morning, huh? Let's talk a little bit. You not in a hurry or something? No, 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 no. Relax today. Not what are you gonna do? Fire me? How you doing? Okay, you all right? Yeah. I love you, Johnny. You ever, you ever think it would be easier? Your life would be easier or something if no, maybe no, me and no, Sam no, were not. No, living? no, no, no. Well, maybe Marcy wouldn't have left. For Marcy, okay? If she loved me, she would have never left me anyway. Besides, family's always first. You're my brother, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I love you too. But don't make the boy any more peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> no more peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> okay. A cop knows, a cop sees, even the most casual thing, it registers. 
Often you don't remember till later on, but then you look back, and you realize you knew. Hey, hey, good morning, Detective. Mikey Mike. How you doing, Lieutenant? Yeah, I was well, just feeling good today. Hey, what can I say? Yeah, you're looking better than me, huh? Yeah. Oh, got a call in four lap two. Thank you, Denise. Jones eight. Uh, how's everything today? Good? Detective Hobbs. Hey, pal, you got a pen? What? 4541 South Center, apartment 2. Who's there? Lou Magoo. Lou Magoo. Couldn't sleep last night, Jones. Who can? Remember I used to get these calls 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning from Reese? Oh, he loved you, Hobbs. He truly did. Somebody called me last night. Imagine that. Denise. Yeah? In a car with a 4541 South Stender apartment two. Uh, make sure we gain entry, huh? Got a body? Nah, it's probably just some knucklehead saw me on TV trying to impress his girl. How'd that look, by the way, last? Fabulous. You saw that? Yeah. On four different channels. <laughs> You're a god. You're a god. <laughs> James Muscovich, Russian expatriate. Super said no family, no friends, no nothing. Why is he dead, then? <laughs> what you got, Jonesy? Uh, I got puncture wounds for a syringe or something. 18. What is that? Is 18 victim? Could be. Could be. Tidy. The DOA's been dead a while, so what the hell is this, huh? Killer slept over and then uh, had a nice, neat breakfast. Looks like. Check this out. in his cell before he died. He asked me why is there a space between lines and Spokowski. Yeah? Accomplice. Reese had an accomplice? Unless it's a copycat, you know, maybe the uh, prison guards or the people that made the documentary. You got a minute? I'll be there in a second. Fifty people must have seen that documentary by now. And Jones, you'll run him down. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Fingerprint. Perp wore no gloves. And the prints on the spoon on the cereal bowl like he was advertising. Maybe his prints aren't in the system. Huh? I hate to be stupid. Enjoy it, Lou. No. But is uh, motor still something we think about, or do we think that all these crimes are done for their own sake, you know? Out of sickness. Eh, number two, Lou. Everything is motive. Sickness is motive. Shop, but. Corner's prelim on the Ruski. Isn't that that wacko poison that uh, Reese used on them Arab kids? Tip. Yeah? You like uh, riddles, you know, uh, puzzles and shit, brain teasers? Sure, as long as I'm doing the teasing. Why is there space between Lyons and Spakowski? What does that even mean, man? Come on. We had Spakowski my rookie year. South Precinct. Come again? No, you're Spokowski. This guy's a cop. What you talking, Lou? This guy's a fucking asshole. He's a King Kong of assholes. A fucking legend. His name's up on the wall. What? Some cheap in the 30s thought it would boost morale. Kept it up to like 81 or 82, and it got to be like some fucking booby prize. Remember, it was downtown in the lobby? So they did the remodeling? You must pass it by a thousand times. Yeah, I guess I just need to open my eyes and look around sometime. Huh? Yeah. No, Lyons, I don't remember him, but Spakowski, he was around. And this guy was so fucking mean that his wife shot him in the foot and he couldn't get disability. Lou, who was 65? Huh? Who was in that space right there? You got me, bud. I don't know. So you're saying they took a name off? Why did they do that? I don't know. I call records. They say they don't know who it was. 
And they don't know why it's not there. Well, we better find out, huh? Top of the year, 1965, eight months later, goes up to a cabin in the middle of nowhere, dies, cleaning his gun. So it was either two things. He was dirty or it was a woman. What? Uh, I met him once, Milano. He had a poker up his ass, but otherwise he was a good cop. But what I want to know... I know what you want. I can't help you. Can't help me? Look. Do all of us a favor, okay? Whatever you find out, keep it to yourself. Hey, I got something for you. Documentary on Reese. Yeah, thank you. You're, uh, you're a white man. Jonesy. Yo. Tape him on Reese. You want to view it? Give me a sec. Like, uh, what do you got there on Moscow, can you? Fingerprints were bust. Crime scene says the killer probably had dark hair. He probably was left-handed. Yeah, like Reese. Uh, he had bad teeth. I found a piece in the cornflakes. Yeah. Director assistance. Yeah, can you give me a number on a Milano, uh, Sylvia, M-I-L-A-N-O? Hey, Lieutenant. Excuse me, boss. Yeah. Somebody died because you kept your mouth shut. You're the one holding the bag, not me. Well, it's a perfect world. Let me know. In the meantime, it's not me keeping his mouth shut. That clear enough for you? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's no listing. Yeah, OK, OK, thanks. Now, listen, listen. You still there? Hello? Yes. Yeah, check and see if there's a uh, G Milano, a Gretto Milano. Could you do that for me? Hold Thanks. Syringe had the same prints. Uh, so now what? Video time? Yeah, yep. Uh, you know, I was second. Hey, don't hurt yourself. Heat me a little. Whoever did Muscovich knew the poison that Reese used. He quotes Reese. He could be a cop. Yeah, he could be, huh? Hanlu, could be a cop, huh? What? Mm. <laughs> Make sure Hans gets a copy of this. You watching, Johnny boy? Hope you're paying close attention. Every gesture! Every word! The um, language you were speaking, later, that's Dutch. That's what he said. What's he speaking now? Is that Dutch? If not? Yeah. This is uh, mumbo jumbo gibberish. Oh. You sure on that? Who is it? That's Detective John Hobbs. I'm looking for Miss Greta Milano. Oh, yes. You left a message. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about your father. How you doing? May I come in? Sure. Mr. 
surrounded by angels. I teach theology at the university. Oh, I see. I see. Very beautiful. Thank you. Why do you want to know about my father, Detective? Well, um, it's uh, 30 years later, and the files are sealed. And my boss was told to uh, let it alone, so here I am. Okay, well, I can tell you what my mother told me before she died. Why do you want to know? I mean, are you just curious? Or... Uh, no, ma'am, no. See, I'm the detective who uh, caught Edgar Reese. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. He was just executed. Yeah, I read about him. Right, right. And this uh, Reese fella, he... Um, in a roundabout way, he gave me your father's name. Did Reese like to sing? Yeah, he did, actually. And at the execution, did he try and touch you or grab you? Yeah, he did. He shook my hand. Uh, yeah. You want some coffee? Sure. One condition. You and I never spoke. You say nothing to your boss or your partner. Nothing goes in the files. My name and everything I say is just between us. Is that agreeable? Well, I get a cup of coffee if I say yes. Detective, my, my dad was a, a good cop. Pride of the force and all that. And then he shot himself. A reporter found out my father had been under investigation. He caught a killer. The copycat crime started. Evidence mounted up against him. Fingerprints, witnesses. The press never got real proof, but my father's medal was rescinded. I see. So you're saying that uh, when he died, someone made this evidence go away? The mayor and the governor, chief of police. They all needed a hero, and some of these people are still important today. I see. No, not yet. You don't. My father saw the evidence against him. Told my mother he didn't stand a chance to beat it, so he went to this cabin in the mountains. It's a place that's been in my mother's family for generations. He went there and... The thing is, Detective, I know my father was innocent of those murders. How do you know? How do you know he was innocent? It's 30 years ago. It's not important anymore. It's important to me, Miss Milano. Don't you want the truth to come out? Don't you want the killer to be punished? Of course I do. But? Are you afraid that if you tell me, your life may be in danger or something like that? Yeah. That's it? Yes. OK. OK. Thank you very much uh, for the coffee as well. Okay. Oh, listen, uh, if I have any more questions, can I call you? I'd rather you didn't. Detective, do you believe in God? Yeah, I mean, you know, I go to church every now and then. What I see in my line of work Face a little hard to sustain. Good luck. Sometimes I think the basic job that human beings have is just to figure out what the hell is going on. Example, Greta Milano. Now, what was she hiding? What was she so scared of? And then a question about God, what the hell is that all about? You never know, down to the smallest thing. The man who passes you on the street, he catches your eye. Does he know you? Did you go to school together? Is he a homicidal maniac who hates you on sight? Or is it nothing? Nothing at all.
Hello? Hello? Johnny? Yeah. You ever get scared? Yeah, sometimes. Oh. Me too. Good night, Art. Mrs. Moore, uh, this is Charles. Uh, apparently, I, I, I must have gotten drunk or something, because the last few days, a am I working tonight? You quit, Charles. I quit? Yes, you insulted Harry, and he hired someone else. Oh, but I mean, uh, how do... uh, Look, I'm really sorry. I Could you apologize, please, to your husband for, for whatever I... He always liked you, Charles. Yeah, I, I... I played Reese's tape on the phone to a linguist guy. He's coming down. Yeah? Freeland. Said it sounded Mideastern. Mm. Anything on Moscovich? Only the pizza. Now we're hitting your area of expertise, huh, Jonesy? Look, man, pizza is a staff of life. Without pizza and other fine Italian foods, there would be no happiness, OK? There was one slice left, garlic, linguisa, and pineapple, plus. There was nothing in Moscovich's stomach, so it was the killer's eats. Hell of a clue. You better uh, write that one up for the journal. I will, Lou, and I will laud you copiously. Thank you. Detectives, your guys in video? Oh, hey, the linguist guy's here. Yeah, I'll uh, be right there. Any luck? John Hobbs, Professor Richard Lauder. Hey, how do you do? Pleasure, pleasure. This is completely exhilarating. Who is this convict? Can I speak to him? Not now. Have a seat. Professor says it's a language, all right. He's just never heard it spoken aloud before. Really? Some kind of antique. Well, I believe this is a biblical tongue, Syrian Aramaic. Only a few nomadic tribes still use it. So you don't know what he's saying? <laughs> Haven't the faintest. He's not too pleasant, is he? <laughs> well, if you could spare me a copy, I'd be more than happy to work it. Oh, hey, appreciate it. Uh, listen, if you could wait out front for 15 minutes, of course. We'd be glad to dupe one off for you. I'll be waiting. See you in a minute. Bye, detectives. Oh, my God. Ooh, wee wee. Wow. Syrian Aramaic. I got something else, too. I'm looking up this uh, clipping. The Reese. High school baseball team. He bats right. He throws right. <sighs> what are you saying, Hobbs? Reese pulled up some of the sickest shit on record. He's speaking a language 2,000 years old, and you're worried because he's ambidextrous. Oh, yeah. I see. Worried about everything, Joe. 
Hobbs, call on line one. Thank you, Bill. Detective Hobbs. Hey, pal. You want to check these out? You got a clue? 1339 South Road, apartment 9. Jonesy, that pizza place with the number 17? Yeah. That close to Grove? I think so. Same place. Exact. Yeah. Like he's laughing at us. He is. Guy's walking past me, he's going the other way. He looks me right in the eye. I mean right in the eye. You know, to kind of look like like he knows you, you know what I mean? It's the same guy that's in the bathtub. The stiff. You shit me. I shit you not, same guy. Oh, Ain't smart enough to figure what's going down. Me either. I'm under the sink. Same poison. Same poison. <laughs> Better get that down to the lab. Sure. What else you got? Okay, the number on his chest. Last Thursday it's 18, now it's two. Well, everything's under a Charles Olam. Well, it looks like that's an alias, so uh, we're running this print. <laughs> well, Yogi Bear, it's like deja vu all over again. You mean Reese? Yep. Is doing it. There's a thing for Hobbs. Seems like. How is he? Who, Hobbs? How is he ever? He's fine. He's great. Well, if it starts to work at him, let me know. Okay. When it starts to work at me, I'll let you know that too. <laughs> Historical research? Mm. Nice talking to you. See you Monday. All right, Luke. Come on, Shooting, 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 shooting. Come on, come on, Sam. Get him. Okay. Oh, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, all right. Scores tied. Not no, no. Okay. okay, 197. Okay, 197. Come on, Joby. Come on, Joby. I'm open, Joby. Come on, Joby. Come on, Joby. Come on, Joby. Johnny's gonna make the point. He's got the ball, Johnny's got the ball. Hey, how you doing? Jordan, three, two, one, two. Oh! That's it for me, I'll do it, I'll do it. I gotta go. No, I gotta go, I got a long drive. Hey, all right, you wanna get in here? Okay, I'll play, I'll play. Hey, hey, you don't disrespect your father, okay? You understand me? Yeah. Cherish what you got. Sammy, come on. Okay? Get on in there. Come on, Dad. You want some of this? I didn't bring my shoes. Right. <laughs> what's up? Tiffany didn't get you? No, what's up? Okay, you know where this case is? All right. Okay. We get a positive ID on Charles Olam. Real name is Mickey Noons. Born in Canada, a legal alien. Blah, blah, blah. Small time shithead. That ain't bad. That ain't it. Noons is the guy that killed the Ruski. It's his prints all over Muscovich's apartment. See, Noons poisons Muscovich, dumps him in the tub, sets out the cornflakes. 
Three days later, somebody does the exact same thing to him. Exact. Exact, because Nunes and Muscovich were killed by the same person. What, some kind of ringmaster? I think so. Hey, Art, right, you and Sam don't forget lunch, all right? OK. I don't know. I can't seem to get my mind around it. I got a bad feeling on this. Yeah, me too. Somebody's playing with my dick, and it ain't me. Uh, see ya. Bye. Right. Ten minutes, Art. Right. OK. There are moments which mark your life. Moments when you realize nothing will ever be the same and time is divided into two parts. Before this and after this. Sometimes you can feel such a moment coming. That's the test. Or so I tell myself. I tell myself that at times like that, strong people keep moving forward anyway. No matter what they're going to find.
Milano. Hello. I went to your family's place up in the mountains. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very, uh, let me get that for you. The trees and the water. Absolutely beautiful. What does a zazel mean? Your father, he wrote it in the basement on the wall, then he, he painted over it. Now, my dictionary uh, says that it's the uh, evil spirit of the wilderness, whatever that means, huh? And then one of the books your father had up there talks about demons and how they move by touch. I mean, what is that? Walk away, Mr. Hobbs. Say again? If you enjoy your life, if there's even one human being you care about, don't take this case. <laughs> uh, it's out of my hands, Miss Milano. I mean, it's my job. Bye, Mr. Hobbs. That's it, huh? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Jonesy, thanks. Uh, thanks. Hey, loan company sent loads and loads from Jones and Muscovich's apartment. Yeah? See those calls there? They made right around the time they were killed, give or take. We seen a killer call my house from the scene of the crimes? Sure looks like it. Remember, Reese used to call me all hours of the night? Reese is dead. Yeah, yeah, but whoever was doing this is in league with Reese, or he was imitating Reese, so I know he's still calling my house. How many times I gotta change my phone number? The more you change it, the more it looks like someone on the inside. Yeah, like a cop? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to me. But the ego's upstairs. You hear me? Both ears. Good. Mike? I'm gonna lose my sense of humor with this guy. There you go. Translation from the Aramaic. I can't enter you by touch, but even when I can get inside you after I'm spirit, I won't. I'll fuck you up and down, left and right. That's in the Bible. That doesn't work. I have other ways. I need a translation of the translation. Yeah. Anything else? I like the night, the street, the smells, the sense of another world. Sometimes you come face to face with yourself.
Alright. Okay, I wanna tell me when to stop. Okay? Okay. Yeah, can you pronounce it for me? Okay, okay, Professor, I think I got it. Releasing a Richard Suckle. Okay. He called a cab. All right, I have him brought right down. Okay, this is uh, Mike at the front desk. Uh, Richard Suckle, you got up there. Is, uh, hey, Jeff, looking good today. Thanks. Rap sheet on Bobby Steegers. Thank you. So, Hobbs, you tell me something. Shoot. The other day, you were down in the basement uh, reading an old file. Yeah, what about it? Well, it looked like there was some kind of map in there. I was wondering, you go somewhere? Yeah, I went up the country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's great to get out of town. Huh? Lovely, fresh air. You yeah. Know. I used to do that, go up to a house in the mountains and sit by the water. It's beautiful. Yeah. You know? uh -huh. So, I'm curious, uh, where'd you go? Why you asked, look. Come here. Come on, come here. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Lou. What? <laughs> you always saying that you wanna be free, but I. Mike. Uh, Mike. Mike. Yo, Mike. Yeah, Tekka. Why are we singing that song? Huh? The song? The song. Why were you singing that song? I was singing something. They put you up to this? Why were you singing that song? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. You don't know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. The man who what? Syrian Aramea. How clever. Jesus. Honey, is this something? It's true what I said, though. I do know who you are. It's Hazel. Where'd you get that? From Milano's place? You found something up there. Well, some things, pal. You shouldn't know. Like what? Like what? And if you know, you should never ever tell.
beware my wrath. Well, what are you doing just back then? What are you talking about? Back then, with the singing, you were singing. Well, I wasn't singing. Lawrence was singing and Mike was singing. Some 60s thing. There you go. I wasn't singing it. I hated the fucking 60s. I wasn't singing. I appreciate your situation, okay? I really do. I mean, your father, your mother, they're dead. Their lives are ruined. Your life is ruined. I'm very sorry about that. But I got to know what's going on, okay? Because if this thing is what it seems to be, if this thing is what the, the book says that it is, then... Is this for real? I mean, do you, 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 you believe this stuff? I believe more is hidden than is seen. Well, I believe what I see, and I'm still trying to get my mind around what I just saw, okay? Something threatened me. And this Reese, he threatened me in Aramaic. I mean, we're going wait, 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 backwards. What else did Reese say? Hey, I'm asking the questions here, Miss Milano. You answer the que... You answer the questions that I ask, okay? Because if I don't know what's going we're on... We're not supposed to know. We're not supposed to know. We're not supposed to see. It's like the Mafia. They don't even exist. Okay, okay. That's good. That's a start. They don't even exist. So where are they from? Who the hell are they? Mr. Hobbs, there are certain phenomena which can only be explained if there is a god. And if there are angels, and there are, they exist. Some of these angels were cast down, and a few of the fallen were punished by being deprived of form. They can only survive in the bodies of others. It's inside of us, inside of human beings. Their vengeance is played out. That's it. <laughs> come on, get out of here. I mean, come on, what? I mean, it's Milano, I'm, I'm just a cop, okay? I'm a detective. My work is based upon evidence, facts. Mine too, mine too. And aren't your facts here rather resistant to normal interpretation? So you're saying that Edgar Reese is actually... At the time you knew him, he was not himself. He was Azazel. Yes, Azazel. Sadistic, left-handed, likes to sing. Reese? Yes. So why does he focus in on me? What would you do? He got his attention. So he tried to get inside you. Remember, he shook your hand. That didn't work. So now he's going to try and find some other way. Like he did with your father. So what do we do? I mean, how do we fight him? Is it even possible? I believe it is, and I'm not alone. There's a network of people. I don't even know who they are. I just have numbers. Okay, Lydia. okay. Now, these people, they know we, the clue. We believe that God limited demons and made them mortal, and he put a few of us here to fight them. Us? Us who? Who us? You saying me? I mean, you saying I'm one of these people? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. You're just doing your job. Okay. Touche. So now these demons are mortal. They can be killed. By the right person. Well, who's the right person? I, this is religion, Mr. Hobbs. These are, these are matters of fate and divine order. The right man. Or woman. 
Yes. So it could be you, it could be me, it could be anybody. Yes, the right person, of the right character, with the right knowledge. So this is what you've been doing, isn't it? This is what you, you've been preparing for this, haven't you? Can I ask you something personal? Everything's personal if you're a person. Is this why you live alone? Well, there, there's a difference between risking for yourself and, and, and someone else. That's true. I, I mean, if I had someone, I'd want to share my life and my thoughts and my work with them. But if, if I shared this, I'd put them at risk, and I don't have a right to do that. Well, you can talk to me. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not, you know, do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying that you can, if you, if you want to, you can talk. Thanks. That's, that's a very nice thing to say. I, I, I've got to go. I, I hope I've been helpful. Thanks for listening. Okay, thank you. Dr. Tap you on the shoulder. You're a friend of John Hobbs, aren't you? Huh? I'm Jay Reynolds. Oh. Uh, you know. Ooh. How lovely. Hmm. You're not just Hobbs' is chippy. Have we met? You seem vaguely familiar. Hmm. Come on. Tell me. I'm about to find out anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Foreplay. Watch <laughs> out. Hey, hey, no, you don't. <laughs> 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 after me and I ran. Maybe you aren't ready yet. That's the point. You have to be ready. And you know what it is? I never believed this day would come. I thought God would make it up to me. I'd be a good girl. God would show me an angel instead. We shouldn't be seen together. Not anymore. Why 
wipe your tears. You want to see me, Lieutenant? Yeah. How you doing? Fine. The murder's not getting you wound up. You can bag the chocolates, Lieutenant. You ain't got to talk to me sideways. What's, what's up? Where were you when Muscovitz and Nunes were killed? Where was I? What, am I a suspect? Sit down. Not to me, you're not. Uh, Lieutenant, the, you know, hey, was it the phone records again? I mean, come on, what do they think I did? They think I committed the murders and I called my own house and I ran home and answered my own phone? I mean, no, it's something else. Your prints. My prints? On what? On that fucking little coin of yours. Where? Noon's place. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a frame up, you know. Is it? Yeah, I mean, anybody could have got those coins. They could have got them uh, when I'm at the store shopping or something. They could have taken them off my desk, Lieutenant. We always said it could be a cop. Yeah, we did always say that. I'm not stupid, you know. I know you know more than you're saying. So tell me. You don't really want to know, Lieutenant. I mean, you'd have to be there. I was there, and I don't even want to know. Try me. You remember Robert Milano? No, wait, listen to me. This is exactly what happened to him. He was framed. Let me give you some advice, okay? Go of it for a couple hours. Go home. See your family. Take a load off. The hell with Stanton. The hell with all of them. Nobody likes to get the shit kicked out of them. Nobody likes to get hit from every angle. But evil just keeps on coming, you know what I mean? You saw it before, but now it's in your face, laughing at you. Hi, Unc. Hey, Sam. How you doing, Toby? Hey, Mr. Hobbs. You're home early today. Yeah, what well, change? Hey, Art, you move my address book? What? No. Um, what? All right. What's wrong with your eye? Hmm. What was your eye? I fell. You fell? I, I fell. What's something? Art, people don't fall down and get a black eye. No? No. Oh, um. All right, all right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. Just look. What happened? Sammy hit me. What? It was an accident, though. He didn't, he didn't mean to, though. It, he didn't mean to. He, we, it was an accident. Johnny, it was an accident. Oh, John, John. Sam? Where's Toby? Outside, I guess. OK, go back in the house. Toby? Hey, Hobbs. Leave my family alone, you hear me? John! 
Go back in the house, Sam. What's going on? Go back in the house! You leave my family alone. Why? You come after me. And I'll come after you and yours. What's the matter, pal? You afraid to fight me? Come on, Hobbs. Come on out. Come on, Hobbs. Come on. Put the gun down. I knew you'd come out. Put the gun on the ground! I know you, Hobbs. Set the gun down, sir! Inna yadahana demenu at. Put the gun down! Yes, it is. Time is on my side. Hey, pal. Wake up, Hobbs. I'm not that easy to kill. When my host dies and I move his spirit, no man can resist me. What are you going to do, arrest me? What are you going to tell Stanton? I'd love to hear that one. It's me you want, isn't it? Why don't you just kill me, huh? But I'm still having fun. Aren't you still having fun? Finally, when the officer, I, I, I guess that's it. We're back at the scene here. This officer now started earlier this afternoon. French No question. Doesn't mean so. It's a good teacher, huh? What am I going to say? What am I going to do when we know that he fired first? This is clobbering. His gun was filled with blanks, okay? And he got the gun out of a stolen car. Yeah, How about that one? A setup, Lieutenant. A just, setup? That's right, a setup. He set it up for you to kill him? All right. I mean, suicide. Excuse me, oh. not a second. All right. 
the hell are you doing out here, huh? You take Sam home, you lock every door, every window in the apartment, you don't let anybody in, absolutely nobody. Can you do that? Can you remember that? Yeah. All right, do it. Johnny? Yeah. Are you mad at me or something? No, I never. Just do what I told you. Hate to see the mighty fall. You know what I mean? Now it's letters. Fuck you, Luke. Look, Lieutenant, I told you, it's a cult. Some weird psycho, Aramaic, Satanist reincarnation cult. Got APO written on his chest. It's, uh, trying to send some kind of message. Sending a message. Hobbs. This time, you are the killer. Yeah, sort of. No fucking sort of. No breaks, no benefit of the doubt. We're going back to the precinct. Now. to the school teacher's wife. They got married four months ago. She's pregnant. He just got a raise. So much for suicide by cop. Shooting Tim will need your gun. I'll get the hearing as soon as I can. People want the world to make sense. It's the only way I can get the world to make sense for me is to arrest you and I'll have to do it. Get the fuck out of here. It was a clean shoot. Yeah, I know. Doesn't help. But I know. Some coffee? You want to talk? Because from where I sit, we're dealing with shit that ain't no manual. And where do they buy coffee with dirt in it? Did you tell me that? What's the point of life, huh, Jonesy? The point? You want a cigarette? The point of life is we catch bad guys. Yeah, that's what I used to think. It's not good enough, Jones. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't even shoot me for talking like this, but... Hey! Two o'clock in the morning, you can talk any way you want. What are we doing here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, why do we even exist? Us. Maybe it's God, Hobbs. Yeah, it could be. I have a hard time believing that we're a part of some huge moral experiment, you know, conducted by a greater being than us. I mean, if there's a greater being than we are, why does he give a shit about us? You know, five billion of us, we're like ants. I mean, do we care what ants do, you know, from a moral standpoint? Ants. Yeah. Right, so... Hobbs, I'm following you, but at the same time, I'm losing you. I know, I know. No, I mean, are, are you heading someplace here? That's my point, Jones. Are we headed someplace? And if we don't figure it out... 
Maybe if you figure it out, you die. Heart attack, stroke, you figure out what's what, you don't get to hang around anymore. You get promoted. Meanwhile, Dolores, she says we're put here to do one thing. One thing? What's that? Well, it's different. It's uh, different for everybody. Hers is lasagna. Lasagna. And just one thing, not like two or three? Or oh, maybe three. two. I don't know. It's just her opinion, Hobbs. It's like when a moment comes, you either do the right thing or wrong. And when do you know when your moment comes? So, like, this could be it for me? That's the beauty. You never know. Hello. John, is, is that you? Yeah. Hi. I, I just wanted to see if you were okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, look, let me, uh, I'll call you back. I'll call you later. Okay. That was a killer. Yeah, we're going to arrange things later. Kill someone. He got me to kill an innocent man. I know. What do they want, Greta? Just tell me what they want. The demons? They want the fall of civilization, the fall of Babylon, as they put it. The whole thing? Yeah. Well, they're doing a good job, aren't they? You know, after I shot the teacher, Zazel moved to someone else. Are you sure? After death? Positive. After death, yeah, I saw it. Oh, yeah, listen to this. I was looking through one of your father's books, and it says, um, outside, I guess that means outside the body. Outside, they can survive for one breath only. There's a Hebrew text that says the breath can carry them for 500 cubits. I never knew what it meant. A cubit, that's like a distance or something, right? elbow to your fingertips so 500 cubits would be what about a sixth of a mile yeah well you're right then they uh i guess they are limited in certain ways what are you thinking Sam. Good morning, Sam. Oh, hi, Uncle John. Oh, hi. Thanks for tucking me in last night. You're welcome.
sleep last night when I tucked you in, weren't you? I don't know. All I remember was somebody tickling me, tickling my chest. Why'd you write that? Where's your father? In the bedroom. He's a sleepyhead. In the news? It wasn't. The cop was shooting first, and he kept on shooting. Yeah. Our friend Lou's coming to get you. He's gonna bring you down for more conversation. Lou? No. Did you get him yet? No, huh? Not yet. Yeah, I gotta go. Just do what I tell you, please.
does apocalypse uh, mean anything to you? Sure it does. Apocalypse was a Greek word for revelation. Revelation. You mean like the book of the Bible? Yes. Revelation. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. You quit. I thought they were bad for you. I did quit, and they are bad for you. You know what's going on, son? The police think that uh, I did some bad things. You are the police. Not anymore. Well, why do they think you did that? Because. Because somebody. Um, made it look like I did. I almost saw that on the show. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something else, too. About your dad. He's not asleep, is he? go to heaven? Yes. Yes, I do. Anybody deserves to go to heaven is your dad. I think so, too. Nice to meet you, Miss Brennan. Hi. You're in your pajamas. Uh, I wasn't expecting company, but I'm glad you're here. Sam. Why don't you uh, go over there and buy the fireplace and uh, get warm, huh? A Zazel wrote on his chest. Unless I do something, he's. I'm, I'm gonna get you a coffee.
that a host body dies. A demon can survive for one breath over 500 cubits, right? Right. And at the same time, as Azazel says to me, when he moves that spirit, no man can resist. So what does that mean? Somebody that he can't get into by touch, he can still get into by spirit? Because if when he's in spirit form, he's fighting for his life, he's going to be that much more powerful. Please tell me what you're going to do. Whatever I do, I have to make sure that you and Sam are safe. You take him somewhere nobody knows about. Even me. Stay with Greta for a little while, maybe for a long while. And I want you to remember this. Whatever people say about me, or whatever I do, I just want you to remember that I'm doing it for you, because I love you. You understand? I'm going to go back to sleep. When I wake up, everything's gonna be just the way it was. Hey, Jonesy, how you doing? Look, I'm worried, man. What you gonna do? Where you gonna go? I'm going nowhere. I'm, uh... Take a long drive... ...where nobody will find me... ...and, uh... ...sit by the water and think. Uh, Hobbs, I gotta ask you something. Yeah, shoot. We've been partners a long time. Twelve plus, Jonesy. Twelve plus. So, uh... ...is there anything you gotta tell me? Yeah, remember what we were talking about the other night? When the moment comes, you know it. Be careful, okay? I'll see you, partner. Yeah, you too. Be good. Probably wondering, what am I doing? Well, this is where things get a little tricky. It's just him and me now. Hobbs versus Azazel. I thought I had him, but he thought he had me too.
I knew you'd come. In a Yahadinas, the man what? Haven't you done enough, huh? Made me kill an innocent man, you... Murdered my brother? Come on out, you son of a bitch! How much more fun can you have, huh? Jesus, Hobbs. What are you talking about? I didn't do any of that. Me, I'm the poor schmo they sent up here to bring you in. So it's you now, huh? It's me. Who'd you expect it to be? Now drop your gun, Hobbs. I know you got one. Or what? You shoot me? Where's the fun in that, huh? Fuck you, huh? You're making me do this. Now drop the goddamn gun. Do what he says, Hobbs. Jonesy. So who, who else is out here, huh? Lou! Tim, come on out! It's just the two of us. The gun, Hobbs. I know that, Hobbs. We both want to believe you, Hobbs, but we got to bring you in. Stan, I don't know if I can do this. What the fuck are you talking? Say Hobbs disappears into the woods. We drive his car into the lake. End of story. What's wrong with that? We bring the son of a bitch in. That's why we're up here. He did it? Fine. He didn't do it? Even better. But it's not our job to decide. Now drop the goddamn gun! Jonesy? Put the goddamn gun down. I'm sorry, Stan. Oh, yeah. You know, the force so many years, you think you've seen it all, but you haven't. <laughs> His life always gives you one more surprise. One more. Sometimes it's a big one. Miss Hazel. Hey! I'm your partner, man. Go on, you're free, run! Keep thinking, Hobbs. Jonesy's fucked. He just killed his boss. Jonesy's fucked. You're fucked. One at a time, huh? That's how we do it. One by one. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Time. He's on my shot. You like the stones, Hobbs? 
I bet you didn't, you big monkey fan pussy. Time's up! You see the deal? If I kill you, just the final pathetic chapter in the life of a disgraced hero. Just one more piece of shit, human scum. But turn it around. If I die, I enter you, put 20 more murders on your tab before you go down. Maybe your nephew, or that, that, that chippy you were talking to. Well, how do you want to do this, huh? I die, you die. What's maximum fun, huh? Can you guess? What maximum fun is? Sure you can. Now that I played you from the outside, maximum fun is I become you. You got me, Hobbs. You got me good. But I gotta ask you something. You wouldn't let me kill myself. Why is that? Because I need more time. Time for what, asshole? Hmm. 500 cubits, that's a long way, is Hazel. Jonesy dies too fast. As powerful as you are, I might never get away from you. Oh, he's catching on. What? You think you're gonna win this thing? God willing. You never know. Let me ask you something. Why do you think Milano Came all the way out here, in the middle of nowhere. To die of a little chicken shit. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that he wanted to do what I'm gonna do. Only he couldn't pull it off. Pull what off? Oh, come on, it's Hazel. Open your eyes. Huh? Look around sometime. Here we are. This beautiful place. Not another human being around for miles. It's just you and me. What is this? You don't smoke anymore. Bullshit. Same poison that you used to kill my brother. Fuck you. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's so sweet. We die together. It's you and me. You motherfucker! I'm sorry, Jonesy.
So, like I said at the start, I was beaten, outsmarted, poisoned by Detective John Hobbs. <laughs> Can you imagine what it feels like to be alive for thousands of years and realize you're actually going to die because some self-righteous cop decided he was going to save the fucking world? Yes, a demon can die. And Hobbs figured out how to beat me at my own game. So what? The war isn't over, I promise you. Not by a long shot. You forgot something, didn't you? At the beginning, I said I was going to tell you about the time I almost died. See you around.